So today I thought we would take a look at this Stalvilli torque wrench. Of course, it is made in Germany. Uh, this was recommended, of course, by a viewer of one of my previous videos over here in the United States. Actually, MSRP is like 430 some dollars. I will say one thing right off the bat. I don't understand this at all. Maybe somebody in a European country can leave a comment below why this is, but why are these torque wrenches, whether it be Stalvilli or Gidor, why do they come in these plastic tubes? So pretty straightforward. It almost looks like a split beam, but here uh, I'll show you a cutaway. It's quite an interesting mechanism. Now it is not a spring style. Yeah, it's, it's definitely unique for sure. This model has a regular ratcheting head, of course, forward and reverse, and it is 36 tooth. Now you can get these in a couple different configurations, one with a quick release. So of course the button and then a pass through as well. It's good for between 30 and 150 foot pounds with an accuracy of 4% claimed. But what makes this torque wrench unique is how you adjust the actual torque. And this is what could potentially make this one of the best torque wrenches on the market. So as you can see our scale right there, what happens is when you go to adjust this torque wrench, there's a little tab on the back here. You see that right there in the handle? All you do is put your finger in there and then push the tab towards the handle here. And then you can adjust your torque setting right there. Let it off, your torque setting is locked in. It's simple, fast, and easy. It's pretty sweet, not gonna lie. You have that magnification there and then you have two arrows, one on the bottom, one on the top, depending on if you're using the foot pounds or the Newton meter scale. With all that being said, let's go ahead and put this on the tester. All right, so we're set to 30. Let's uh, see what happens. Hmm. What's interesting is it's supposed to go to 150, but the scale here stops at like 145. So I'm gonna push it, set it a little bit past 200. That should give us at 150 foot pounds. We'll see what happens here. All right, so I cycled it uh, at 75 foot-pounds for 1,000 cycles. Let it sit for a few hours. Let's go ahead here and see if things got any better. So there you have the results of the test. Uh, when we factor that plus or minus 0.5% in, the majority of the values actually come into that 4% range. But again, it's right at the high end of that. So overall, I do like the satin finish here versus chrome. And in my opinion, this is one of the easiest and fastest mechanical style torque wrenches to adjust unless we come across something easier and faster, but that's quite impressive. Longevity wise on the mechanism, that's hard to say. Again, I cycled it a thousand times and we put it back on the tester there. Am I gonna keep this torque wrench? 
Uh, I'm a little bit undecided right now. I don't really care for the case. But overall, again, I do like the quality. You know, if you're looking at this torque wrench, if you can pick it up for a decent price, I think it's a pretty good value. And I really like how fast you can adjust that torque setting. Hopefully you guys found this video useful. Thanks for watching and please stay tuned for more.